In this video, I'm gonna give you three ways for you to be more confident in front of the camera. Welcome back guys, my name is Alex and I help content creators and entrepreneurs grow their audience online with the power of video. And today we're covering a topic that scares a lot of people in the beginning and that is being confident in front of the camera. Don't forget to like and subscribe because in this channel, I help content creators grow their audience online by bringing the latest tips and tricks on how you can be more successful with video. And with that being said, guys, let's dive right into it. First up, let's talk about practice. They say that practice makes perfect. And the truth is that the more you practice, the less bad you are. And one of the ways that it helped me to be better in front of the camera was to just hit the record button. I would just get out my phone, put the phone, whether I'm in the car, whether I'm in my room, in a quiet place, just hit the record button and just talk about my favorite topics. Being able to talk about my favorite topics, I can go on forever. And when you do that, people feel it. Watching yourself back, listening to your yourself and maybe even getting input from friends or, or from family members or people who you look up to that can give you advice on how to be better is going to give you more confidence. You're going to find things that sometimes you'll realize like, oh, I can change that. Oh, I'm using a lot of ums or I'm using a lot of so's and, and all these filler words that are holding back the way you're communicating in front of the camera. And look, it's not easy. I've been there. A lot of people have been there, whether it be uh, Sean Kennel from Think Media or Gary Vaynerchuk, Alex Hermosi, Grant Cardone. All these creators had to start somewhere. Mr. Beast, who is one of the greatest creators on YouTube right now, killing it, by the way, amazing guy. I went back to his videos. I'm looking at his videos and I'm just shocked to see who he is today, who he was then. He went through a lot of growth period, always trying to reinvent himself, always trying new things. And that's really what it's gonna take, focusing on just being better, even if it was 1%. And that's what it comes down to when it comes to practice. One thing you can do, if you're brave enough, get in front of a mirror, sing. I know it's crazy, maybe you don't sing, but just being able to step out of your comfort zone and being able to see yourself is gonna help you. Watch yourself back, listen to yourself, listen to your voice. I know in the beginning it's a little weird, right? You listen to your voice and you're like, oh, I don't sound like that. In the beginning, it's gonna feel cringy. It's normal for that to happen, right? Watch yourself, look for ways that you can be more expressive through video. Video is very powerful. Instagram, it's now a video app. It used to be just a photo app, now it's a video app. And video is taking over. Look at TikTok, look at Pinterest. They're even doing a short form content now. Facebook Reels, video is so powerful that it's taking over over social media right now. Short form content is nuts. Think about what video is doing for a lot of people, whether it be personal brand, whether it be a business. As you get more comfortable being in front of the camera and you can now learn to express yourself and you improve over time, this practice will lead you to being perfect, right? The truth is nobody's perfect. So you just gotta keep practicing and just keep getting better. And that's what you gotta focus on. Next up guys, let's talk about being yourself. Look, there's so many great, great content creators out there. And like I mentioned, Alex Ramosi, Grant Cardone, Mr. Beast, Sean Keno, people at Think Media, people at vidIQ. These people are great communicators and I look up to them. I think they're great. The one thing I don't want to do is copy them. So when we as creators, as we're learning and we are trying to be better, we try to copy someone else, we're sort of shooting ourselves in the foot. So I would recommend to just learn to embrace who you are, your quirkiness, your weirdness, your flaws. People can see that in your video. People can see your enthusiasm, the way you feel. People can sense that. You've seen videos like going back to Mr. Beast when he started out, it was very cringy. He was trying to figure himself out. He was trying to find a certain fluency in his videos and the way he spoke and, and look who he is today. Learn to embrace who you are. Everybody has to start somewhere. Just know that. And remember that you have a uniqueness to you. There's people don't come to see another Alex Hermosi channel. They come to see you. They came to watch your videos. So embrace that, be yourself. And then lastly, focus on being prepared. When you are prepared, whether you did research, made a bullet point of what you're gonna talk about, and you're clear about what you're gonna talk about, or maybe you even scripted your whole video and that's okay. I think that if you do that, you're going to learn to be confident the moment you hit that record button. That is going to make you a better communicator in front of the camera. This, this The whole idea of being in front of the camera is to make you a better communicator because you'll realize all the ums and the pauses and, and all the things that you could fix along the way. Just to recap, practice, embrace who you are, are, so be yourself and be prepared because that is going to allow you to be more confident the next time you hit that record button. And I have a challenge for you. Start recording every single day, at least for the next 30 days, right? Give it a shot. Record yourself for five minutes. Listen to yourself. 
Watch yourself. Show it to friends. Talk about topics that interest you. Don't worry about being perfect. You're going to see things that you're going to improve on. And the moment you do that for the next 30 days, I promise you that you're going to feel more confident by the end of the 30 days that whether you already are putting out videos right now, people are going to feel that you're going to attract people because confidence attracts, attracts a lot of people. Listen to somebody like Alex Hermosi. Look how he speaks. He's not perfect. There was a lot of editing in between. Knowing what he was going to talk about makes him who he is, right? People are attracted to that confidence and focus on that because confidence is, is key and that's to anything, whether it be at work, in a relationship, doing public speaking, all these things that will put you in a situation where in the beginning you're going to feel uncomfortable. Eventually when you'll feel so comfortable that you'll feel like you can do anything. Really hope guys that this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I should be bring more videos like this to help you as a content creator. What are you looking for? How else can I help you? With that being said, guys, I can't wait to see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I'll see you on the next one.